Highland Prep for game number five of the 12th annual Metro versus Florida Challenge presented by Burn Fat Orlando and St. Germain Chiropractor Chiropractic Clinic. Lake Buena Vista in Santa Fe will tip things off here and away we go. Lake Buena Vista representing Metro, Santa Fe representing Team Florida and right away Lake Buena Vista with the opening points. Lake Buena Vista, 2-22 and 22 last year. Hey, is the all game, all day, I have had that camera there. And that ripple. Hey, Two nothing so far here. Yeah, Lake Buena Vista, 2-22 and 22 last season. It was their first year as a program at high school. Now traveling there from Canole Pierre. Santa Fe trying to find someone. This is a three, no good. Rebounded by Le Leonardo de La Nunez. That shot, no good. Rebounded by the Vipers. That ball still flying around, and it's rebounded by finally Aiden Jones from Santa Fe. Wide open underneath the basket is good. That's Hudson Dykusen. 2-2 early here, Santa Fe, 16 and 13 last season. Made it to the 3A region semifinals. Lost to St. John Paul Academy, 66-55. And a one-handed stuff from Luis Soto. And a timeout early here from Mike Blitcher at Santa Fe Catholic. We'll take a quick break. 4-2 is our score early here right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Welcome back here, game number five, Lake Buena Vista, Santa Fe Catholic. An early 4-2 advantage, and Mike Blitcher, head coach of Santa Fe, had seen enough and decided to cash in a timeout there. Santa Fe kind of in rebuild mode this year. They had a couple of key losses. Harvey Wilson transferred out to Oldsmer Christian. Trey Lane committed to St. Leo and Cooper Ellis. A Eckerd commit, so a couple of new faces, a lot of production no longer on this squad. That shot no good from Dykus in, and it'll be a jump ball. Wide open for three, no good. That was Munoz, and it goes out of bounds. It will stay down there with Santa Fe. Quick passes all around for Santa Fe in the corner. That's Tate. Darner, he stepped out of bounds. Back to Lake Buena Vista. Lake Buena Vista, along with Horizon High School, the two newest high schools in the Orlando area. Open doors last school year. Lake Buena Vista, two wins a year ago. Gerald Scott, the head coach's second year there. This is Canole Pierre with the basketball now. Feeds it inside to Dijon Sayers. And underneath it's De La News. And coach Scott not happy with the foul. Five twenty-one to go here in quarter number one, four to two. Our score still remains. Yeah. 
This shot is good. That's Hudson Dykhusen. Pierre the drive kicks it out to Sayers. Sayers the drive and the finish. Counted and the foul. Dijon Sayers. An old school three point play on the way. That free throw, no good. An offensive rebound counted in the. No, they'll wave it off. It's a jump ball. It will stay with Lake Buena Vista. Underneath, and it goes back to Santa Fe. Six five here, four thirty seven to go in quarter. As that ball came flying into the scores table. And a traveling call. We've seen a handful of those today. As so we'll go back to Lake Buena Vista. Loose ball that goes out of bounds. It will stay with Lake Buena Vista. No seniors on that squad last year. Everyone was an underclassman. Plenty of seniors this year. It's a lot of returning talent for that Vipers squad. Awkward shot, no good. That was from Giles. Cross-court pass to Darner for three. He's got it. Tate Darner averaging seven points a game last season and 38% from three. Pierre the drive and no good. Offensive board collected by Sayers for the putback. Darner again from three. He's got a back-to-back -back threes for Tate Darner. 11 to eight is our score. Pierre pushes off. No good. His shot. Offensive board collected by Lake Buena Vista. The Vipers on the drive and a travel. Three minutes to go here in quarter number one between Santa Fe Catholic and Lake Buena Vista. Darner missed the three, an offensive rebound easily for Santa Fe. This jump shot is up, no good. Rebounded by the Vipers, and here they come and transition. Counted and the foul, that's Fabian Joseph. Three-point play on the way for Lake Buena Vista. As I think Joseph airballed that free throw. He, he does it, just grazes the net.
Jones, the three is good. Another three goes down for the Hawks. It is 14 to 10 now. Two twenty-five to go in quarter number one. No good on the shot, and here comes Santa Fe in transition. Beautiful attempt there. It's no good from Dykusen. And that foul came on the floor. And now Santa Fe will have to inbound it. Toby Lane with the basketball, a freshman. Munoz again has to kick it out. Back to Munoz. Under two minutes to go, Toby Lane for three. It's good, but an offensive foul. One forty-four to go here in quarter number one. And a blocking foul right away. That was Munoz who committed the foul. Ezekiel Munoz averaging eight points, two and a half rebounds, two and a half assists, a steal. Shot 34% from three last season. There's 1.39 to go. It looks like we'll have an off-ball offensive foul on Sayers. So nothing changes. A minute 39 to go back to Santa Fe. And poked away, that's Christ Gillis with the lay-in. Twelve to fourteen now, one seventeen to go in quarter number one. This three in the corner, no good. Rebounded by the Hawks. It's poked away. Sayers comes up with it. A good hand in there from Lane. Aiden Jones, the drive, almost loses it. Munoz has to pick it up. Stop, pop, jumper is no good. Another fight for the rebound. That's Soto, it picks it up. Ball still free off of the not-so-pretty pass. Lane the ball now. He'll kick it out to Munoz for three. No good. Sayers, another rebound. He almost loses it. 38 seconds all of a sudden remain in quarter number one. This jumper from Gillis. No good. Cottingham. Back over to Jones. Back to Lane. He swings it across to Munoz. Munoz underneath baseline. Wide open is Jones. He's got it. 17 to 12. 15 seconds to go in quarter number one. Dejon Sanders. Four, three, two, one. I don't even think uh, De La Nunez even knew. So after one quarter, Lake Buena Vista trails 12 to 17. We'll get right back out here after a quick commercial break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Welcome back here to Lake Highland Prep for the start of quarter number two in game five of the 12th annual Earl Graham. Metro versus Florida Challenge right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Alex and Bernoni with you. Lake Buena Vista trailing 12 to seven after hot shooting from Santa Fe. Jones got the rebound, it came free. As Santa Fe will inbound it here, that is DJ Lane with the basketball back over to Aiden Jones.
Underneath. Back to Jones in the corner. Four, three, no good. Stolen away by Jones. His shot is blocked by Soto. Quickly coming the other way. Gillis feeds it inside to Soto. No good. His shot. Rebound goes back to Sanders. And here come the Hawks. Sanders loses it. Ball still free. It comes up. Canold Pierre has it stripped away. And great defense there from the Hawks. And again, Santa Fe coming the other way. Darner swings it to Jones. Jones, that ball comes free again. Oh, my goodness. Bodies hitting the floor. And finally... A whistle. Tate Darner headed to the line for a pair of free throws. First free throw is good for Darner. Two more games coming, after, coming up after this one. Windermere and Slam, Tampa Slam. And then the nightcap game, Colonial and Eustis. Should be some great games as the night starts to settle in here in Orlando. 6.25 to go, 19 to 12 is our score. LBV swinging it around and off the glass and in from Christ Gillis. I don't think that was his intended way to make a bucket. As Jones the other way, his shot no good from three. That's rebounded by Davidia. And Davidia airmails that one past Gillis. And another turnover. Nineteen to fourteen, six oh three to go. Aiden Jones, the basketball now has to give it back over to Munoz. Darner the drive underneath. That shot is blocked. Now we get a late whistle there. That was number twenty three, Hudson. Like Husen. Wide open. That three is good from Munoz. 22 to 14 is our score. And a steal there, ball still on the ground. Who's got it? They'll call a jump ball, and it will stay here with Lake Buena Vista. Five nineteen here in quarter number two. It's a ugly pass. There goes right back to Santa Fe. Munoz swings it over to Darner. Back to Jones. Back to Munoz for the three. No good. Rebounded by De La Nunez. Gillis. The floater is good. Christ Gillis keeping his team alive in this one. Sixteen to twenty-two. He's had a majority of the Vipers points. Jones the drive, kicks it out. It will be a walk back to Lake Buena Vista.
As now Toby Lane will check in for Santa Fe Catholic. And quickly again another travel, Fabian Joseph. That shot is good, so now 24-16, Santa Fe extends their lead to eight. This is Joseph again with the basketball. Back to Joseph for the three. No good, Gillis tries to fight for the rebound. It goes right back in the hands of Munoz. He loses it. Ball goes out of bounds, back to Lake Buena Vista. Leonardo De La, La Nunez will inbound it for Lake Buena Vista. Gillis, the runner, is good. Christ, Gillis again, and another bucket for him this evening. 3.37 to go here in quarter number two. This shot in the corner, no good. That was from Dykusen. He got his own offensive rebound and put back. 26 to 18 is our score. And not a good pass, and Toby Lane in a sprint to go get it. Steps out of bounds. Three oh one to go here in quarter number two. Pierre with the basketball now kicks it over to Eternal. Eternal looking for someone has to swing it to Sayers. Back to Gillis, who's been the hot hand tonight for Lake Buena Vista. Gillis, the drive, no good, a hard hit for both players. That was a foul on Gillis. Beautiful pass to Dykusen. His shot is good. Assisted there was Munoz. A 10-point lead now for the Hawks as we approach two minutes to go in quarter number two. Underneath, Soto is good. The two-handed finish. One forty-seven to go in quarter number two. Underneath, that's Cottingham. This three again from Dykes in no good. And a rebound there is Sayers. And just a little too far out of Eternal's reach. One thirty to go in quarter number two, and Eternal 
commits the foul. Burgess, eternal. Ten seniors on this squad this year for Lake Buena Vista. One twenty to go in counting. Munoz gets a look for three. No good. Rebounded by his Cottingham. He puts it up and in. Cameron Cottingham. Fifty-seven seconds and counting to go in quarter number two. Giles, his shots denied by Aiden Jones and Santa Fe looking to push. That three no good, and that ball will roll out of bounds. Thirty-eight seconds to go. That was Tate Darner who had a great look. Thirty-eight point five seconds to go. Thirty to twenty is our score. Soto underneath, he loses it. It will stay here with Lake Buena Vista. As Windermere High School and Tampa Slam arriving a couple minutes ago, both sitting on separate ends of the court. That will be the game coming up after this. That will be a fantastic one that you will not want to miss right here on the Varsity Sports Network. And another charge. Pierre will get called for it. Twenty-two point two seconds now to go in quarter number two. It's a ten-point Santa Fe lead. They are cleaning up the court real quick. Ten seconds to go now. Ball comes free. Good hands from Burge. Eternal. Nine point eight to go. Santa Fe trying to hold it for the last possession of this quarter. Jones with the basketball feeds it over. That ball is tipped and it's coming out of bounds. And it will stay with Santa Fe, 4.2 seconds to go. And Darner loses it. And that will be the end of quarter number two. And that will take us to halftime. We will step aside for a quick break right here. Welcome back here to Lake Highland Prep for the start of quarter number three here. In the 12th annual Metro versus Florida Challenge. The Santa Fe Catholic red hot shooting in that first half on Lake Buena Vista's side. It was all about Christ Gillis. This three, no good from Darner. Seven twenty-four to go here in quarter number three. Defense, 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 
Fabian Joseph with the basketball, kicks it out to Gillis. Gillis to Joseph. Buena, Buena Vista trying to set their offense. They can't again. Another travel is called. Six fifty to go here in quarter. Number three, a near disastrous pass there. That shot no good. Sayers the rebound, and here comes Lake Buena Vista. De La Nuez with the basketball. Back over to Gillis, back to De La Nuez. Sayers now, everyone's starting to swing it around. Cross court to Gillis, back to De La Nuez for the three rattles in and out. Excellent ball movement from Lake Buena Vista, but it goes right back into the hands of Santa Fe. And that three is good from Tate Darner. 33-20. Sayers thought about it, he'll drive it. Kicks it back out for the three. That one is good from Eternal. Munoz with the basketball back over to Tate Darner. Darner throws it out of bounds. Not a good pass. Mike Blitcher trying to speak to his team. Year seven for him, 97 and 58. At the helm at Santa Fe. Sayers swings it across, another pass in the corner for three. That one is good from Christ Gillis. It's down to seven. As that one goes out of bounds, it will stay down here with Santa Fe. Thirty-three twenty-six, four forty-seven to go. Munoz thought about it for a moment. Kicks it out to Tate Darner. Darner driving baseline has to pick up his dribble and he'll get caught for a travel. Thirty. 326. De La Nuez with the basketball back over to Sayers. Not a good pass there. Ball comes free. And a timeout called there from Lake Buena Vista. We will step aside for a quick break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. 424 to go here in quarter number three between Lake Buena Vista and Santa Fe Catholic, the Hawks of Santa Fe with a 33 to 26 advantage so far. Sayers with the basketball. We'll swing it across to Canold Pierre. 405 to go in quarter number three. Pierre to Sayers in the corner for three. Got it. And it's down to four points all of a sudden. Tate Jones with the basketball now. Feeds it over to Darner. His runner is no good. A rebound there from Lake Buena Vista. Two on one break. And Gillis will get called for the charge. He had a two on one break.
as Coach Gerald Scott giving Gillis an air pull after that mistake. It was a two-on-one break. Gillis decided to take the more risky route and go up by himself instead of making the simple pass to a wide-open teammate, 33-29, 3.35 to go. That shot is blocked from Soto. Pierre with the basketball now being tartly, tightly contested and Dykusen will get tagged for the foul. And another offensive foul. Looks like they'll get Sayers for it. Hey, 33-29, 3.03 to go in quarter. Number three, Munoz, his shot no good, rebounded by Soto. And here comes Sayers and company up the court. Soto has to wrestle for it. It will go out of bounds and it will stay with Lake Buena Vista. Pierre now with the basketball. We are approaching two minutes to go in quarter number three. This shot from Joseph, no good, rattled in and out. Darner the basketball now, feeds it to Jones, back to Dyke Husen. His shot no good, he will get fouled on top of the head. Free throws coming up for Hudson Dyke Husen. First one for Hudson's up and good. And Ikusen again will get another free throw, 35-29. Sayers the basketball now. Swings it over to Canold Pierre. Under two minutes to go here. Pierre the drive, stop, pop, jumper. Air balls it. Jones picks up the rebound and they're in a fast break. Darner almost loses it. Throws it back out to Tate Jones. Aiden Jones, excuse me. Jones shot no good, kind of threw up a prayer. And Gillis all alone by himself on a break. He gets fouled by Garner in free throws coming up for the Vipers. First free throw for Giles is up and good. Giles' next free throw is no good. A fight for the rebound for a moment. Cottingham throws it off Sayers, but ricochets right into Darner's hands. Munoz with the basketball. That pass is tipped. It's stolen away by Pierre. And here come the Vipers. Pierre's runner is good. 
No, and another charge. One twelve to go, 35-30. We're going to clean the court up down there real quick. Don't forget, coming up after this is Windermere High School taking on Sports Leadership and Management Spartans of Tampa, or uh, known as SLAM. Munoz open for three, no good. Rebounded by Soto. Two seconds to go. De La Nuez, no good on his shot. 35 seconds to go. Cottingham, his pass intercepted. That pass is tipped. Munoz with 24 seconds feeds it inside to Cottingham. Pearson with the basketball. Under 10 seconds to go. Darner with the basketball. Shoe comes off. Munoz, 4 3. No good. Rebounded by. Oh, it won't count the shot, anyways. And that is the end of the third quarter. Santa Fe up 35 30 on Lake Buena Vista. We will step aside for a quick break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. The fourth quarter just about set to get going here. 35-30 is our score between Santa Fe and Lake Buena Vista right here on the Varsity Sports Network for live coverage of the 12th annual Earl Graham Metro versus Florida Challenge. Alex Zimbernoni with you. A foul there. It's Jaden McPherson, the junior. As following the conclusion of this game, Windermere and Tampa slam will commence ball still free Sayers has to pick it up it's nearly stolen away and like one of this will try and reset their offense here and slow things down Giles the basketball he's been the best player so far for Lake Buena Vista Pierre finds a wide open shooter. That was De La Nuez. His shot was no good. It goes out of bounds. No, they'll call it a foul. That was McFerrin's second foul. Sayers underneath finds it to Soto. His shot is good. It will be a block. On the floor, the shot does not count. Soto back over to De La Nuez. Back to Giles. De La Nuez with the basketball again as we approach one minute into this fourth quarter. Giles feeds it inside to Soto. Sayers again to Soto inside. He has it poked free, and Santa Fe will pick it up and run with it. Munoz, 4-3, got it. 
A huge three there for Santa Fe and Ezekiel Munoz. As that air ball will go out of bounds and back over to Santa Fe. Darner finds a nice find to McPherson. He misses the easy layup. And McPherson pokes that one free. Cunningham gets on top of it. And a timeout called by Santa Fe. 5.57 ago, we will step aside for a quick break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. We want to see less of you. 5.55 to go in quarter number four. That shot, no good. Cottingham shot, no good as well again. Five thirty-one to go here, 38-30, score still the same. Darner to be the inbounder, he'll throw it up to Cottingham. Not even close on that execution. Soto inside. Pierre, the floater is good. Jones is three, no good. A fight for the rebound. Sayers will come down with it, and it will be a foul on Santa Fe. Four forty-seven to go. Coming in now is Hudson Dykusen, and another timeout here. This one from Lake Buena Vista. We will also step aside. Thirty-eight, thirty-two. Four forty-seven to go in the game. Right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Four forty seven to go. Four forty in the fourth quarter, thirty eight, thirty two. And a foul there. 420 now, 38 32. Score still remains. Wide open underneath. It's a huge block from Soto. He blocked LaFleur's shot going up, and Lake Buena Vista now would love to capitalize and put some points on the board. Inside to Soto, that ball is still free. Has to flip it over to Pierre, and that will be a backcourt violation. Three fifty-two to go in the game. Thirty-eight, thirty-two again coming up for these final two games of the evening. After this one, Windermere High School taking on Tampa Slam, and then at eight fifteen, Colonial versus Eustis. And tomorrow morning we do it all over again at eleven. We're waiting for something to clean up the court real quick.
Darner with the basketball now. Trying to preserve this six-point lead. 3.45 to go, Munoz. Will feed it across. That pass is intercepted by Giles. And he has to save it from going out of bounds, but it goes right back into the hands of Santa Fe. Darner has it poked free. Back up to Giles. As he'll go up for the lane, it's down to four. 3.20 to go in this one. Thirty-eight, thirty-four. Darner a three, no good. Left it short. Offensive rebound corralled in by O'Toole, and we've got a timeout from Santa Fe. We will step aside for a quick break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Three oh two to go here in quarter number four. Thirty-eight, thirty-four is our score. Is Lake Buena Vista looking for their first ever win in this challenge? They represent Met Orlando Metro, Santa Fe, of course, representing Team Florida. Munoz swings it across to Donner, back over to Jones. Munoz again with the basketball, picks up his dribble back, swings it over to Darner, back into Jones in the corner. Darner to Jones again, everyone swinging it around, killing that clock. Jones thought about it. 2.12 to go in the game, Munoz to Darner. Nearly a steal from Giles, and this three is good from Tate Darner. A seven-point game with under two minutes to go, 41-34. And Santa Fe trying to put this one to rest. And a timeout again from Lake Buena Vista. 1.41 to go. 41-34 is our score. We will step aside for a quick break right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Defense! 41-34, 1.41 to go in the game. Santa Fe nursing a seven-point lead here. And a whistle. And a one and one coming up here for Lake Buena Vista. As they're wiping up the court real quick. Canole Pierre going to the free throw line shot 53% from the line last season. A lot of these guys struggled from the line. You got Pierre at 53% last year, Giles at 47%, and Dela News 47 as well, and Soto 36. So they really want to capitalize from the free throw line when they get the opportunities. Pierre misses that one, and Santa Fe will come down with the rebound. Has 120 to go in this game. Darner being covered by Sayers. And this time, Pierre will commit the foul. Hey, 
Under a minute to go in this one. Lake Buena Vista still not really fouling yet. Darner with the basketball. Under 50 seconds to go. Pierre will finally commit the foul. And Santa Fe will still have to inbound. As they have one more foul to give. Coming up at 6.45 p.m. And a foul there. This will send Darner to the line for a one and one opportunity. Donner will make the first free throw. 79% free throw shooter last season. And that one is good. Giles, his shot no good. Munoz the rebound, a fight for the ball. Under 30 seconds to go, Darner We'll have to throw it over. See if they can get it half past half court. Aiden Jones. Back to Donner. Under 20 seconds to go. And they'll commit the foul at Sayers, who commits at 16.7 to go. As don't forget, coming after coming up after this one is Windermere High School taking on Tampa Slam, Tampa Sports Leadership and management, the Spartans. So we're waiting for something here. Cleaning the court yet again down at the other end. 16.7 seconds to go. One and one on the way. That first free throw is good. That next free throw is also good. 16 seconds to go in this one. Joseph, the drive, loses it. Sayers, his jumper, that one no good. Joseph, excuse me, uh, Jones the rebound. And Munoz will pretty much just run this clock out, and that will do it. Santa Fe takes down Lake Buena Vista, and Florida wins another game today in the opening days of the Metro versus Florida Challenge.